yeah so for this uh, registration or sign up for so first of all let's uh, create the environment for that create react and server side app <coughs> so for the front end our react app to create that so we will perform these uh, tasks okay first of all just write to the, in the terminal npm init bit okay it will create initialize uh, react app then we will assign project name then uh, select react then select javascript and after that move to that folder which you have created here where you assigned a name after that uh, um, npm install then uh, npm run uh, do okay it will run the server react app so lastly just install bootstrap and access bootstrap is used we will use it for the designing purpose and the access is used for the um, http request and response so it was all about the react app i have already created that the react app okay this is the react app which i have created and this is the server side app okay for the server side app we will just uh, um, uh, come to again to this test folder and inside that i will write npm init y so it will initialize it it will create this package.json file so after that write npm install express mongoose um, cores node main okay this npm install express express is the framework of uh, um, node.js mongoose is to use for the mongodb and cars are used to when we would like to access the backend side in the front end and node main is used to refresh our um, servers uh, up um, whenever we make some changes in that okay so just after performing this we will create a new file this index.js okay or you can assign uh, another name to this okay but i assign index name so this will create our front end and server side app okay i just recap it uh, it is easy okay the environment so now let's create first of all i will create the sign up forum okay i will create the design of the uh, registration forum so for that uh, let's first of all perform um, import the bootstrap I will use bootstrap for designing yeah it is okay so bootstrap um, important so now I will create a sign up forum name uh, field and email and password field I will create these three fields I will pause the video for that because that is simple HTML code so I wrote this design okay just uh, a name field and email field and a password field okay and also the register and login button so let's run the server so to run the server let's come here to the terminal and inside that let's move cd to the client folder and after that uh, just write npm run do so it will run our react app uh, server so now let's move to this url yeah let's see it see this is the registration forum okay that we have created okay it is very simple just html code so now the ta the main task is that uh, so let's come here to the code just close it here whenever we are writing something in this name field okay here name field email field and the password we should store them somewhere okay so let's come here to do this task so for that i will create just three fields or we can create an object or just three fields i will create three states three state variable okay so just const first name seek name is equal to use state same to that let's create one for um, email city email and another one for the um, password okay we did it okay so now we never we are writing something in this input field so let's do it we will call on change event okay on change and let's call this method okay this set name for that so let's create an arrow method and set call set name method and just write e the target dot value so it will assign the value that we are writing in this input field to that uh, variable okay to this name one and also let's just copy it in for the email also copy this for the email instead of set name let's call set email very simple okay and just come here and paste that again for sorry copy this line paste it here and instead of city mail just call city password yeah so we store the values okay so now whenever we press this button okay this register button this one so we should uh, mm, call our server side and we should store our data in the mongodb uh, database okay so for that uh, let's come here so by pressing this button let's just uh, come to the forum 
yeah here and submit okay whenever we submit it and submit we will call handle submit this method let's create this method const handle submit this is an arrow method and we will get an event here let's prevent default submission and after that uh, we will just use axis library so let's import the axis import axis from axis okay so let's uh, um, so to, to pass the data we will use post method okay let's call access dot post okay we will use post method and here we will assign the url where we would like to send our data so for the url uh, i will write yeah i will leave that okay so the url i will enter that later so then we will pass the data okay the data that we have stored here name email name email and password this means that like this okay password okay but for the short hint the names are equal so we will write like this after that dot then we will get a result let's console the result console dot log result if there was any error so just console that okay that's okay so we did the front end task okay just the url element so now let's move to the server side and to write the code in the server so first of all we will um, before writing the server side code we will just configure our database so for the database we have two methods for the mongo database one is to use the mongodb atlas okay online and the second one is to use the locally okay i have installed the mongo database locally i installed the mongodb as a community edition that so let's um, i will open the gi tool of mongodb compass okay mongodb compass okay i will open this one okay this is the gi tool for managing the data the database so i have already created a database or i will create a new one okay we will connect with this url okay this is the url where we will connect connect with this okay we have connected with that so now let's create um uh this is the test one okay uh yeah in the test one this we have this database in this database i will create a new uh, collection okay the name of the collection would be register register create collection yeah register create collection has created successfully so now let's use this database okay this test one so let's write the uh, our server side code so first of all i will import express const express is equal to um, require express const mongoose is equal to require mongoose okay i have already installed these packages uh, mongoose and express and let's const write cars is equal to require cars these are for to access our server side in the in the front end okay the cars cars origin and let's create an app const app is equal to uh, express we will call express method and after that let's use it app dot use first we will use cars and after that let's use app dot use um, express start json okay this means that whenever we are passing data from our front end so we can add that will be parsed to the json format okay if we don't try this then we will paste within, within error uh, and now let's create connection with the mongo database okay to create the connection we will call mongo's dot connect function and we will assign here the url where we would like to. okay that before i copied that this is the url from mongodb compass i have copied it okay this is the url but sometimes localhost didn't work but we can use uh, the um, our own ip addresses which is 127.0.0.1 this is also mean localhost okay our own computer so uh, after the port number we will write the database name the database name was test okay this was the database name test okay our connection has created so now we will write the let's run our server okay app dot lesson and here we will assign a port number 3001 and here let's create a callback from method console 
dot log server is running that is okay so now let's run the server before i told you nodman we have installed also a nodman package so nodman we will use that here okay let's come here to the server folder and come to the package.json this is we have used the nodman start nodman index.js it means that it will just run our server automatically when you are going to make some changes in our server side okay so now let's run our server let's create one another one cd server let's move to the server folder and uh, write npm start so it will start our server yeah server is running let's close it so now i will like the api for the uh, register app dot post we will use post and here let's write register register this is the url and here we will have a method and we will get a request and response this request means that the data which we are passing from front end the result means that we are passing back from the uh, back end to the front end so now let's come here and create this so now let's distract the um, uh, data from uh, our request okay the data we pass from the front end we pass these data okay uh, name uh, email and password and just come here write const name email and password is equal to request dot body we distracted the data from this okay mm, and just come here now we will use that uh, to insert to the database so to insert uh, the record to the database we need to create a model for this uh, collection okay for this register so now let's create a model so i will create a new folder inside that let's copy this and come to the server side uh, inside this i will create a new uh, folder by the name models separate okay inside that i will create register that js okay a new file and let's import const mongoose is equal to require mongoose import it and now let's create the schema for our collection okay the schema to create that const register schema is equal to new mongoose dot schema and inside that i will define um, the fields okay the fields first the first field would be the name that would be string type we can add more like required in other fields but uh, properties but uh, i just assign the type for that okay the type for every field the second one is the email which is string with us uh, and also the password which is string with us now let's create model const register model is equal to uh, mongoose at model it has two properties two parameters the first one is the um, collection name okay this one register okay i will assign that name register and the second one is the um, schema that we have created okay register schema so now let's export it module that exports is equal to register schema so now let's import it inside our index server file so just write const uh, register model is equal to require uh, model slash register okay we imported that so now let's use it okay to use it let's write first of all the register model dot find one okay so first let's find one okay so what it will do first of all uh, it will find a record if there was um, a record existed on this email so then we will show that already have an account if the record was not existed then we will register that let's write email is equal to with email if there was an account that then user and so now let's display it if user was existed so then we will just display uh, already have an account response.json already have an account else if the record was not existed so now we will create 
a new um, record inside the database so for that i will write register model dot create i will call create method and i will assign email first i will email is equal to with the email that we have and the second one is the um, first one is the name sorry let's uh, return something account created okay dot catch there was any error just return um, result json error just return this one okay so just come here dot in dot cage there was an error response to json return the error okay and also return here the error so yes i hope it will work and we did uh, everything mm, yes uh, we created so now let's try it okay what happened let's try it uh, compare and let's assign the url the URL is with us HTTP localhost. The port number is three double zero one, and also the um, URL the route is register. So we will move to this localhost and three double zero one register this uh, route. Okay, register. This three double zero one is the port number. Okay, that we have here. So okay, now let's try it. Okay, what happened? just come here to the chrome and let's move to the uh, to the console what we are getting in the result use of and enter email gmail.com and let's write a password one two three four five let's press register button see we got in request field with the status code uh, 500 it means we have an error with the server side so let's come here and check where is the error yeah i will just find the error our register model that find one is not a function so let's confine the one okay register model that find one so just come here to the server side so the error is here in the register model okay we have uh, exported this uh, schema but we should export this uh, model okay copy this one and paste it here okay yeah that is okay so now let's again and appreciate let's now press the register button see account created okay so now let's create our database let's check it let's refresh it uh, the data has not came yeah test and register let's refresh it we didn't get the, the data so let's check it where is the error yeah the issue was that uh, it has created a new um, table a new collection okay the reason is that we should create it uh, with registers not just register okay it's created registers by the name of registers okay the record has created now let's create try another one okay so now let's for example um, we assign use of one okay let's press register button see this is the data which we have returned okay use of and let's refresh it now see any record has um, inserted if uh, i press just again by this email let's change the password okay change the password and also change the name okay so press register so it will say already have an account it means this email is already re registered okay so it was all about uh, the register page the sign up form that we have done with the mongodb uh, using modern stack i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel like the video and comment down thanks for watching